When we're talking about distributive justice, we're dealing with a particular question. That is, we're dealing with the question, how do we determine whether or not a particular person owns an object? That is, sometimes a person has possession of something, but we want to figure out whether he's the rightful owner. For example, I have this compass in my hand. Now, this is my property. Right? But the question is, why does this count as my property? Right? Why can I say, this is mine, I get to hold on to it, decide who's going to use it, you can't just pick it up and smash it or take it away and use it for yourself without my permission, etc. Why is that the case? Distributive justice gives us an answer to that question. Right? Often that means a question on a the question on a wider level. Right? That is, distributive justice will often look at the question, is the current arrangement of who has what in society basically just? So sometimes the answer will be, yes, absolutely. That's actually fairly rare because there's theft and things like that. Sometimes it might be, no, it's massively unjust, so unjust that hardly anybody is entitled to what they're holding on to. And sometimes the answer will be, for the most part, or not all that much, etc. Right? But distributive justice deals with the question, is the current distribution of who owns what just or unjust?